What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are one we're throwing a curveball at everybody today. We're not in the truck. And uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys already seen the thumbnail. Yeah, we're in a Mercedes CL45 AMG. But before we kickstart this video off, I got to caffeinate. I got to stop and get a coffee. Okay, I don't know how to say this, but I traded the truck in and I just went for it and got a 2023 Mercedes AMG. Okay, let's backpedal a little bit. I did not get a Mercedes. This is in fact my sister's car. She was nice enough to let me take it out and take a video for you guys. And I have driven my F-150 for seven years and the truck before that was an F-150 for like four years. I have not driven a car in some years. I didn't even know what to expect. I keep telling myself through and through that I'm a hardcore truck guy. The first half hour, I'm just a little nervous because it's my sister's car and uh, you know, I'm not here to mess this thing up. And then once I kind of built some confidence with it, I need a car, I need a car. I keep saying I'm gonna buy a Raptor I'm gonna get rid of my truck and buy a Raptor. And then here we are in this thing and I'm like, maybe I just keep the truck that's paid for and I just buy some sort of sport car. Probably a terrible idea. I will get tickets up the ass. We need to find a, po we're gonna find a place to post up and uh, we're gonna show you guys this thing. persona we're rolling with right now guys she's got a bluish purple pink I think you can change you can change all these colors up which is pretty freaking dope I don't know why that camera's on I'm in drive Raptor. I feel like the vents are changing colors they were pink now they were purple now they're blue I need to plug my seatbelt in just listen to this There it is. We're at the top. This thing is super fun. It is a 2023 Mercedes AMG. This thing is an all wheel drive beast and it's a mini beast at that. This thing is super affordable. I want to say it's in the $65,000 range and uh, the braking performance, obviously it's got the AMG brakes and these things stop on a dime. My first thought was about the four cylinder was like, man, a four cylinder. When you get on it, this thing just sounds mean. The different modes is going to give you a different sound in the exhaust. Sport Plus mode is going to, when you get up in the R's, it's going to just sound vicious and I love it. We're talking about switching this grill up, so that might change, but I'm not 100% sure quite yet what the plan is with that. It comes with the 19 inch wheels from the factory. Everything is factory. The only upgrades that they have actually done to this vehicle is the window tint. Now, the back window. I guess there's a module that could possibly get wet and you can just mess things up. So you want to make sure that you cover that module up. Any person that tents should know this. I don't know like a ton about this car because I just never been a Mercedes guy and I just literally got the car an hour ago to come out here and shoot some stuff for you guys and I'm, I'm learning as I go. Apparently she has it on color change mode where it just keeps alternating colors. The first thing upon getting in this thing, hit this button below your engine start. We do not want it to shut off at the red lights. That's so annoying. We're going to stop at Chick-fil-A and then we're going to get to our next destination and get you guys some sound clips, some drive-by clips. Uh, this thing just sounds insane. tear up a little chicken sandwich and I can't eat in the car there's no food in the car so we're gonna eat inside 
here's a little breakdown of the interior. The one thing that's really cool with this, especially because I rock a 10 year old truck, I don't know how many cars come with this option, but it's got like a track pad. It's kind of like a mouse, kind of cool. The other really cool thing with this, this handle, you basically get an oh shit handle while driving. So that way when you're, you know, ripping into it, you just hold on to that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I really like how sleek it is. I like how small it is. The other thing that I just keep forgetting about is there's a heads up display. So in the window, I could see this mile per hour, but I, I forget about it. Slowly adapt into that. This button here is gonna be controlling your mode. We have slippery, individual, comfort, sport, sport plus. Sport plus is gonna be the loudest for the exhaust tone. We've been rocking sport plus most of the day. The one thing that I've been noticing, there's like two to three different ways to do everything in this car. You could change your modes up here, or if you hit dynamic down here. The one thing I figured out, you can either touch the screen, use the pad, or you've got these, which are basically buttons in a sense. It's literally, it's like a Blackberry trackpad. They incorporated some Blackberry-ness in here which is kind of cool. And then you just got your normal functions. Those are pretty simple to figure out. We're gonna take a few clips and I'm gonna show you guys the different sounds of the vehicle when you get on it. I have not been in every mode. So far all I've been in is Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. We're gonna go through and do each one of these and we're gonna throw the GoPro on the back and see what the exhaust sounds like. I don't know if from slippery to individual comfort sport if it goes louder or if maybe these three are all the same tone and then sport plus is where you get the mo absolute most tone. Let's uh that's our next phase. Okay guys let's just start off. I'm not going to do slippery because that's obviously for probably rain conditions. We're just going to start off individual. So this is going to be our individual raspy sound. individual mode the exhaust kind of sounded loud so maybe it just sounds the same I don't know here is the comfort zone so at this point I think I'm wrong the exhaust all sounds the same whatever mode you're in. But you can tell the difference in the pull going from individual to comfort. Let's give it a try on sport. Maybe, maybe a little difference. You can just tell that it just goes quicker. It just goes and it doesn't downshift. I could tell that I could just get right back into the gas and be right into the R's of the car. Sport Plus. is good this thing would get me in trouble it's a good thing i'm in mexico shooting this video so this is completely legal that's what the exhaust sounds like with the five different modes that we just went through i don't know if it actually is a, a louder tone it's just the car just gets with it so much faster on sport plus mode i think that having the different modes is perfect because for me and the way i am like i have zero patience when driving and if i was in sport plus mode 24 7 i just feel like at all times i'd just be like let's go i'm passing you buy so i think by putting in comfort mode or individual it's going to slow me down and you know just be in cruise mode but switching it over to sport plus mode just puts a smile on your face that and then when you hear it kind of backfire shift it's awesome it's awesome 
The other thing that I really love about this car, especially when you're in the sport plus mode, it just seems like it downshifts more like a manual. For instance, when you downshift in a manual and you kind of feel that engine braking, this thing does the exact same thing. It's just, it's just a good feeling. Just the way when it hits 6,500 and shifts is just, oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I got to be careful though. There's probably troopers around here. Might as well get a little petrol, fill her up, top her off. I mean, she was nice enough to let me take her vehicle on a Saturday, so I appreciate that. We'll top her off real quick. A whole 48 bucks to fill it. I'd say that's a wrap. So we topped her off. It has more gas in it than what it started with. So the reason this was a surprise, my sister had a 2018 Escalade and out of nowhere, she just comes rolling up into my driveway with this Mercedes. She decided uh, spur of the moment she was going to get her an AMG. I'm glad you did because I get to reap the benefits and I get to drive it. The one thing that I will say that I really, really like with this is the tinted windows. If you ever look at my other videos, I have to color adjust my tint because it's ugly like purple to where this is like blue just from the get-go. Maybe I ought to retint my windows. I started this video off the only way I can describe how I feel driving this thing, especially driving this thing in Sport Plus mode, is from the beginning of Too Fast, Too Furious, when Ludacris calls Brian and he's like, hey, you want to race? You got four minutes. You got four minutes, man. All right, I'll be there. <laughs> and he's zooming around town. That's how I feel right now. I feel like if someone called me and told me I had to be somewhere in four minutes, I'd be like, bet. I started the video off thinking that Man, maybe, I'm, maybe I got my priorities wrong. Maybe I don't want to get into a Ford Raptor. Maybe I want to keep my truck that's paid off and purchase a sports car. But after making this video, the consensus is I'm a truck guy through and through. I think the Raptor will suit my truck needs and then the twin turbo V6 is gonna suit my sometimes go fast need. So yep, maybe in the future, the channel gets bigger, stuff like that. We will purchase a second car because this is a blast. So that's all I got for you guys today. No Wrigley, he's not allowed in the AMG. So you'll catch him on the next one. And uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace.